Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this edition, we're going to start a filament series. Uh, we we're going to start exploring different uh, filaments, and today we're going to start with uh, TPU, basically thermoplastic polyurethane. So I've got a spool here from uh, Sane Smart, which I, I got off of uh, Amazon, and uh, just taking a look here, so it is 1.75, it looks rather thick, so um, anyways, uh, we're going to give this a shot, so so basically this has a little bit different working temperature, actually a bit higher working temperature, so we're going to run this about 240 to 250 C, which is rather warm, with about a 70 degree on the bed on, on the Wanho, so we're going to go ahead and get this mounted up, and we'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, so we have the filament loaded, uh, the TPU loaded. So one of the things here, this is very, this is a very flexible filament, uh, uh, basically like a rubber. Um, so it was a little bit difficult getting into the extruder uh, because of this flexibility. It wanted to go down around the gear and loop around. So it took me actually a little bit to, to get it in there and actually had to crank up the heat a little bit um, and kind of see some of this. It's uh, actually kind of, uh, again, you can see it's pushed out the PLA here. This is PLA and then this is the TPU here. Um, it is rather hard when it's solid, but it's kind of an interesting. So uh, anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to print it. I'm going to be printing at... Uh, 250 degrees on the nozzle. I'm going to have the bed at 80 degrees Celsius, so 250 C on the head, 80 C on the bed, and we're going to see how it goes. So I'm going to be doing a print that I've done before, so we'll cut to a time lapse and we'll see how it goes. Welcome back. We've completed the uh, print um, with the thermoplastic urethane, polyurethane. Uh, very interesting, very, very flexible uh, prints. I think you can see this. So it actually flexes. The, the print has turned out very well, uh, very well formed. Uh, we did this at 250 degrees with uh, that temperature of 80 adhesion was fantastic. Um, I actually had a little bit of a hard time getting it up off the bed. Um, the uh, grip on the, uh, because this is designed to receive 4 quarter 20 nuts to go on the end of a maker rail, uh, received them quite well. I mean, it was nice because these uh, actually spread out. And uh, these will end up getting epoxied in, but I wanted to try something that was a little bit flexible and had some give. Um, and these definitely do, but you can see that this one is, you know, still on the bed, and it actually has taken me quite a bit to kind of pry and get the other ones up, the other one up off there. Uh, I've actually had to kind of take a knife and kind of cut the bottom. Um, trying not to cut the, uh, the pad because this this is really stuck on there, and I'm trying to without too much. Ooh, I tell you, this is really on there, folks. Really got to get underneath it. I think I would probably, I let this cool down quite a bit. I might next time try taking it up when the bed is a bit warm or let the bed warm up. But again, the, um, the uh, results are, are phenomenal off this uh, Wanho. 
I am extremely happy with it, and the quality of the these prints are. <clears throat> you couldn't ask for anything really any better. So I did about 50 millimeters a second. I think was the the run rate. But uh, the one thing I did have to do is really get a good level on the bed. This was a significant because uh, I did the first run, and it really didn't go so good. Just to, the first layer, so I stopped it. I re-leveled the bed and uh, that seemed to solve the problem but uh, I'm really happy with this filament the other thing that I noticed about the filament is in the spool itself it wanted to stick together so I had to spool out a bunch of it and then roll it back up because it wanted to stick to itself now as I've gotten into the spool a little bit more it seems to be better but uh, you know for making like protective cases for for phones and stuff I think this would be an excellent material it does have a little slight kind of like sweet smell to it it's not really overpowering it's not as bad as ABS but it does have a little bit of a smell to it so anyways um, hopefully this helped to uh, you know kind of share working with some a uh, little bit more exotic filaments I, I, I probably do a couple more I plan on printing several more things so anyways if this video helped you out please give it a thumbs up subscribe as there'll be more coming